Good day everyone, this is Jake Rodriguez Pomperada from Bacolod City, Negros Occidental, Philippines. In this tutorial video, we will learn how to create a multiplication table using C++ as our programming language. If you like this video tutorial, please click the like button, leave a comment in the comment section of this video tutorial, and subscribe to my channel for more upcoming video tutorials. So let's get started. We have here already in our Dev C++ integrated development environment. So first thing first, we will write the comment here. So for example, mall multiplication mul multiplication underscore table dot cpp this is the file name and then its extension c++ next I will write my name as the author of this program Jake Rodriguez my middle niche name Pomperada and then we have here the date today is October 7 2019 Monday next we will declare library file in C++ for input output IO stream and then for our formatting no, set width we will using the library file io manip io manip means input output manipulator using name space standard we will start with main int main a function that will that is the starting point of our program execution and then we will declare two variables let's say x and why as we can see we I initialize these two variable to zero integer next console out set with set with or set w is a command for formatting to move our text to the right this command the set with belongs to this library file sharp include io manip without this library file we cannot use this function the set w so here i will type multiplication table see my colon new line okay see my colon and then we will declare a nested for loop statement for int x equals 1 semicolon x less than or equal to 10 x plus plus begin inside of it we will have a new line semicolon in this for loop statement we have here the initial value of 1 and then we have here x less than or equal to 10 conditional statement and x plus plus mean, means that we increment the value of x by 1 after which we will I will copy this one it is called nested loop because a loop within a loop so instead of y we will change this uh, to x to y y and then y so inside of here I will another begin so here we will have console out uh, set w set width to 4 and then x asterisk by y we will multiply so if we have here we put a new line and then here we can have horizontal tab end of the program semicolon after we we done we are done writing the code the next step that we will do is to save our work control s get outside we will create a folder here 
natin let's say multiplication table double click this folder and then we will have multiplication underscore table dot cpp Multi multiplication underscore table is the, uh, the file name and then the extension is cpp click the save button and then after we are through we will go to compile and run or press f11 we will check for syntax error okay we got it in the first try so we will we have already the multiplication table that is being generated by our program okay so okay so i will add, make some some adjustment to the spacing here okay i will add a new line compile and run so as you can see no creating a multiplication table is easier using nested for loop statement in C++ let's say for example 4 times 4 we have 16 5 times 6 30 8 times 8 64 9 times 5 45 so a very simple code and then we can able to generate a multiplication table out of it so this is the logic no? initialize to variables x and y and then nested for loop statement and then we multiply we are using set with belongs to this library file in order for us to have a formatting no? of spacing of our program so we have already a very good multiplication table generated by our code in C++. If you like this video tutorial, please click the like button and leave a comment if you have some comments in this video tutorial and subscribe to my channel for more upcoming video tutorial tutorials. Thank you very much guys for watching this video tutorial. I am glad that we have already some new subscriber in my channel. I hope that more subscriber will come so that I can still make more uh, tutorial videos particularly in computer programming. Thank you very much. I really appreciate your support to my channel. Uh, bye bye for now.